Holy crap, a lot happened this week. Hajime! So I started off this week getting my butt kicked by a treadmill workout. We tied some bands to my ankles and I was running against it and it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It almost killed me. Because it was so hard, I looked at myself and I was like, you suck. And I found out I've been doing these treadmill workouts wrong for the past four weeks. Let me explain. So the treadmill at this high school I'm running on, the degree thing broke to see at your incline. Uh, we went out and bought an electric one. We just magnet on and it tells you the degrees that you're running at. But there's a difference between degrees and degrees gradient. Degrees gradient is what almost every single treadmill is based on, which is rise over run for all you trigonometry people out there. When it said do level 15, I put it up to 15 but 15 degrees on our thing was actually 30 degrees gradient. I've been doing these workouts about twice the incline I should have been doing them in, and they have been murder. They've been almost destroying me. <sighs> the degree gradient is roughly half of the degrees incline. I'm gonna take all the things on the workout protocol, cut them in half, and we should be good to go. So much stuff happened last week. I pole vaulted. We went up to Fargo. I defended my thesis. I went to Dropkick Murphy's. I did all sorts of stuff. So on Tuesday, I was privileged enough to be able to vault with the U of M Gopher Girls again. And it was another good day. I went four lefts and we knew what was going wrong with the vault. We just didn't know how to fix it. So we spent two hours trying, just tinkering with it, trying to figure out what was going to fix me from flying off to the side. We figured it out for my last three jumps, but it went awesome. Those three jumps showed some huge improvements, even though I didn't have the, my legs under me anymore. So I'm excited to try it out again this week. So I'm going to vault with them again on Friday and see if we can keep building upon the progress we're making. Wednesday, I lifted, no, Wednesday morning, I drove up to Fargo. It is an exciting ride. So while I was up there, I worked out. I did some stair workouts. I did weights. I did the stride ladder uh, workout up there. Uh, first time trying it with a weight vest for half of them, so that was exciting. And I got to work out with some of my old teammates, uh, Nolan Berg, Riley Dalzell, uh, Joel Breedall. Man, I miss coaching a lot. So when Joe Breedall asked me to coach him, I jumped at the opportunity. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> and one of the Jav guys decided to come down and grab a pole and I am not anyone to say, hey, you can't pole vault. So I told him where to hold, told him to run as fast as he could and hold on and this is what happened. And then we played with the GoPro a little bit and got some cool shots of Joe even though he was sick as a dog, he still jumped pretty well. I told everyone I was coming up to Fargo and some of the Nodak kids uh, I don't know how to explain it. They kind of started like, kind of like a Facebook petition, like let's get a, a pole vault, you know, practice going. And before I knew it, there's like 50 comments. And man, if that doesn't make a guy feel welcome and want to come back to Fargo, I don't know what will. So that made me feel amazing. They had an idea where I would just sit like at a table and they would just ask me a ton of questions. That was an amazing idea. I was kind of hoping it would work out, but the weather kind of took a turn for the worse and I didn't want them driving um, too far to get to Fargo. So we're going to try that again. <laughs> That'll be in a vlog later on. Another exciting thing was I got my thesis done. You just got your master's degree. 
in health nutrition and exercise science with an emphasis in biomechanics and I did my thesis on the ground reaction forces of the pole vault. I went to Dropkick Murphy's. I haven't seen them in 10 years. They're out of control. We were all crowd surfing. I was mosh pitting so hard someone elbowed me in the, in the face and I squirted blood everywhere. <laughs> and it was really fun. It sounds terrible. And it was the perfect way to like celebrate. Hey, you got your thesis. Let's go push everyone in a circle and then, oh, you got elbowed in the face and you squirted blood all over everybody in the venue and now your shirt's full of blood. Awesome. I guess it's a pole vault vlog, so I should talk about my vlog a little bit. Uh, my pole vault, what we figured out was since I had shoulder surgery a year and a half ago, um, as soon as my shoulder started hurting, I started moving the pole differently to try and take some stress off my shoulder, which made me move around the pole instead of me moving the pole. I'm excited because when my shoulder doesn't hurt, I'm able to vault more efficient way for my style. The way I like to explain it is if you keep pushing right down the middle, if you think of a door, the door's shut, so it's hard to go through the door. But if you can get that pole to roll, the door's open, you just walk right through and swing on up and it's nice and easy. So I am pumped to try that on Friday. Yes! Words of wisdom for the week. Slow. Slow children at play. Better. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Last night, as I was going to bed, and I was like, I got elbow in the face, just got back from Dropkick Murphy's, how can this get any better? She sent me this video, which I've been smiling ever since. So that's how I'm going to end this. See you later. Subscribe. If you have questions, comments, let me know.